Hey guys, welcome to the Delta Review. Today I'm going to be re reviewing one of my favorite party games, my favorite fantasy party games, Citadels. Citadels is a game where each person chooses a different role each round. Through that role, he can do certain abilities, and then you build buildings for your city. At the end of the game, you score points based on your city, and the person with the most points wins. Now, let's see how you play Citadels. Well, what do you get in Citadels? Well, first off, you get nice, good money tokens. These are really good, nice money chips. You get eight different roles. These, these are the cards that will be used a lot in the game. Will be chosen each round for people's roles. You get a king, a starting player token. And then you also get a deck of cards that is used for the buildings that you'll be building during the game. Now, on each beginning of each round of Citadels, you will be choosing roles. Each person will be choosing a role. And the way this is done is that the first player will, dis will take a card and discard it at random, and then he will choose one card for himself, and then he will pass the deck to uh, pass, it, pass the deck along, and they will choose a card, and then it, it goes on the table. It goes on the table that way until everybody has chosen a roll, and then once everybody has chosen a roll, the remaining cards go face down in mo in the middle of the table. That way, no one knows. No one can, for 100% sure, do a process of elimination to see which cards are chosen. Now, what's nice is that there is, no, there is no specific turn order. The only turn order is based on the cards. So, the first roll will go first, and then he will do his action. The second, per uh, then the second person will be chosen, and he will show his card to show that he goes, etc., etc. Once all the rolls are done, then the king takes the cards back and does that process over again. Now, what do you do on your turn? Well, once your character is chosen, then you, can, then you do its ability. For instance, with the assassin, I can choose somebody to not take their turn. So I would say, okay, I'm the assassin, the king will not take his turn this turn. So I do that, so I can do my action. Then you do your generic turn, and on your, on your turn you do two things. The first step, you can do one of two things as well. The first thing you can do is you can either take two gold for yourself, or you can draw two cards and keep one of those two cards for your hand. Once you do that, you can then build for your city. And the way that you build is that there is a there is a number of coins on the left hand side of your card. You just discard that many coins, and that's how many cards you can build. I mean, that, that's how many. That's the cost of the card. And that's basically a game of of Citadel. So that's all you do. You just once your once your character is called, then you do its ability, and you do your turn. You gain gold. You build buildings. Once somebody has built eight buildings in front of them, the game's over. And that's Citadels. But let's go over these rolls real fast so you guys can understand the real mechanic of this game. Alright, so these are the rolls of Citadels and how they correspond with each other. First off, you have the Assassin. He lets you choose a character, a character, not a, not a person, and that person, that character cannot be used this round. Once that character is chosen, then he just skips his turn. Second, you have the Thief. The thief announces a character, and once that character is called, he steals that person's gold. The only problem with the thief is that you can't choose the assassin's target to be a target for the thief. The magician. This is the only card in the game that lets you choose a person as a target. You can either exchange your hand between person to person, or you can discard cards from your hand to draw more cards to your hand. The king. The king lets you take the starting player for yourself next turn. You also get one gold for each yellow building in your city, and that's what the king does. You have the bishop. The bishop, just like the king, lets you get one gold for each blue building in your city, and you can't be attacked by the warlord this turn. Six, you have the magician. I mean the merchant, sorry, the merchant. The merchant lets you get one gold for each green building in your city. You also receive one extra gold when you take your action. The architect. The architect lets lets you <clears throat> draw two cards on top of your uh, on top of your action, and then you can also build up to three districts in one turn instead of just one, like everybody else can. And finally, the warlord. He's number eight. He's the last one. He lets you get one gold for each red building in your district, and then he also can destroy buildings of, of other people's cities. The way this is done is that you pay one gold less than the cost of the card and that city is destroyed. So yes, you can destroy a one cost building that somebody has for free. 
So, what do I think about Citadels? Well, for me, Citadels is a great, good, you know, fantasy party game. I like the mechanic that, you know, each person chooses a role, but you don't know which, per which role people are choosing, and you don't know which roles are on the table, so it's, you know, it's, it's kind of a metagame kind of a game, so you have to think, you know, what is, what is this person going to do, what is this person going to do, if I do this, is he going to do this, type of thing, it's, you know, really good thinking, but it's in a good, fi it's in a good element, and, for, the, for those people who get really frustrated when, when people are targeting them all the time, you know, for winning, you can't necessarily directly target somebody in this game, which is nice. Um, the cards are really good quality. I have to sleeve my cards just because I'm anal about it. <laughs> but uh, the cards are really good quality. They're nice, you know, nice big cards. The illustrations are awesome. You know, uh, all the illustrations are, are, are really good. The only problem I have with the game so far is for colorblind people, it's hard to differ between the red and the green. But there's a there's a general category that each of those buildings are in, so it's not that bad. Um, not only are these roles good, it's it's just a really good you know really good mechanic to the game. It's it's really strange. I, I've I've never seen a, a a role selection like this before. It's really really nice. Um, other than that, you know this, this game's pretty good. If you want to pick up this game, check out bestengames.com for the best online game service. And I guess until then. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.